Let me show you how to implement a job application approval system for your business. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to job form. My name is George and I'm going to show you how to automate your job application process with this system. The idea is to not notify everyone about a new job application unless they need to be notified and have been approved or if they meet the criteria for that job application. So it's a great way to automate this process. Now to get started, this is our dashboard for the form section. We want to go to my approvals system. So let's go into click in the menu, go to my approvals and in my approvals, we're going to create a new approval. So let's click on this green button and we can go ahead and start from scratch or use a template. We're going to use a template for this approval system, but I'm going to explain step by step what these elements are, how they work and how you can automate it in your business. Okay. So here we go. We're going to use this one new hire approval process template. We can go ahead and search for other templates. If we like, we have the option to preview this template in case we want to see how it flows before we actually implement it. Or if you're ready to go use the template. All right. And this is going to open up the approval system builder. Here we go. The approval system has been implemented and this is a fully workable system that just needs a few tweaks here and there to be able to implement it in your business. So let's go step by step how this was built and how you can build your own in case you don't want to use this template. So the first thing you need to know is that this template starts off at a form. And in this case, since we use a template, we are connected to a form already. So let's go ahead and preview this form. We can go ahead and change it if we like. Okay. So this is the form that was created and we can go ahead and preview it as we did right here or go ahead and edit this. Okay. So in this case, we have a position applied. So you can see it's dedicated for that system. So let's go back into the system. Once the form for the job application is filled out, it's going to notify the first step, which is the recruiter. This person needs to deny it if it's going to be denied or approved in order to jump to the next step. So that means in this case, it's going to notify the manager about this job application. But if it's denied, it won't notify the manager, which is a great idea, especially when you have a ton of job applications. Now, this first element right here, it's the approval element. You can see the icon is the same as this one. So this is what you need to add in case you don't use a template. And then we're going to go into the settings. So in this case, we have the outcomes, which is approved and denied. And if we have a different variation, we can go ahead and add a new outcome. That means that maybe you have someone who filled out a job application who might be a potential employee for the future. Well, you can add, for example, future um, analyzing. OK, so add a new outcome in case you want to do so. And then the approver in this case, it's my email by default, which is the account's email. But you can go ahead and remove this email and add the one for the recruiter in case you want to do so. OK, then you have the completion rule, which is required response from majority. And we're going to leave the rest as it is. OK. So like I said, this person will deny or approve. If it's denied, it's going to send out an email, which is this element right here, the email, and it's going to notify the person that it's denied. All right. She can go ahead and modify the email subject, modify the content in the email. And in this case, all these elements right here are tied to the form, but you can go ahead and remove elements, the data right here and set your own message for the person being denied, etc. all from here. The recipient should be for the email from the form. So that person should be notified. So I'm going to select the email address from the form. Here we go. Let's go ahead and save it. And that person is going to get notified if it's denied. And then we add the end system. So that flow stops right there. If we don't add the end, it'll give us a little error that we need to add that. Okay. And that element is right here. End. right now when it gets approved, in this case, we have a conditional logic system applied. So that means that I'm going to show you how it works. Okay. So conditional logic is this one right here. If else condition in this case. All right. So we're going to go into the settings and in settings, we have a condition right here that if someone is searching for a certain job, then it's going to notify a certain person. Okay. So here we go. If position applied, which is this option right here on the form that was pre-built is one of these, for example, is it equal to sales manager? then we're going to set it to true or false. Okay. And the same thing goes if it's if it's going to be a job application for marketing specialist, then it's going to go to a certain flow. And if not, go to the other way. All right. Let me show you how to apply this. Okay. So here we go. The position 
we've connected it and let me go ahead and remove it right now to show you how it works confirm go ahead and remove this also to show you how to connect it confirm all right so the if else condition it's going to go to this person if it's true so if they are searching for the sales management position or certain positions that you set in the criteria it's going to go to this person and if not let's go to connect it to this other person which will be false okay in this case we're going to name this for example lower position approval right so that's going to be someone else who's going to take care of certain type of ap applications and this is a great idea to separate for example for warehouse management for sales accounting etc and you have different people approving different type of applications okay now these people which is this element for approval also can deny or apply so once they view the job application for the management position they're going to view it they're going to see okay this guy's the right fit this guy or girl is going to be a right fit and if it is it's going to continue to the next step if not we're going to deny it and we're going to send out an email again similar to this email right here we're going to tell them that it's been denied and it's been terminated so it's the full stops right here all right and again same thing goes with the other type of positions that are not management then it's going to go over here to this person and they can approve or deny if they approve they're going to go to the next section right here which is approval with signature you can see that the icon is different because it's this one the approve and sign here we go and if it's approved it's going to go to this one let's go ahead and edit this we also have the option for this person to approve or reject you can see require signature for approval if it's rejected we don't require a, a signature for that okay and the signers for this set the email for the person who's going to be take care of that part of the of the signature right and if this is approved it's going to send out an email for approved and it's going to re get rejected it's going to send out another email so these emails are both different one is for the approval you can see right here settings and we can set here your position applied which is the variable from the form application has been approved and again we can change the content right here and then we have the rejected email so in this case your job application has been denied and obviously you have all of the op options right here to modify your content the recipients again remember to add the recipient for the email field and we also have to do that for this one right so edit recipient remove this one and notify that person who filled out that job application and here we go we got at the end a recruitment record so you can see this one is the approval record which is this one right here which is set to recipient email at the ones you want to add right here and go ahead and save it and remember at the end we need to add the end element which is this one right here so this is the flow from the template and that's how it works and basically you can create your own based on this or modify this even further and make it even better so for example i would say that if, when this is signed and approved by this person i would create a new form and i would connect it to it i would create a form that has a booking system so that means that if they are approved well they should book to have a meeting and have a sit down to tell them they have been approved and how the job is going to uh, be applied etc all with this and in this case i can go ahead and delete this step so send an email for that application that they've been submitted and then connected to this email system and then connect it back to that so remember you need to create a form for this section but you can modify this like i mentioned you can create more outcomes if you need to make this even more extensive and it's a really great way to really implement your automation for job applications so once you're done with your flow and you like how it looks go into settings make sure that it's enabled it's enabled by default but if it's not go ahead and enable this the approval title if you need to change this to locate it later on especially when you have several approvals systems implemented and then you have your published settings so this is going to provide you the link that you can share you can create a qr code you can share it via social media etc and this link is going to start the flow with the form in the beginning so let me go ahead and copy this link let's go ahead and open it up here in incognito mode and you can see it's the application form so let me go ahead and fill this out once to show you how it works and it's going to get notified and show you where we can locate this so let me fill this out okay here we go i just filled it out with some random information job position sales manager remember we implemented the conditional logic if they are requesting this 
uh, job position, it's going to go notify the manager instead of the lower position person. So let's go ahead and apply this. Here we go. It's been sent out. We should get notification. The recruiter should get notification of the new job application and that person needs to approve or deny. Now you can go ahead and jump into the inbox to find how this is going to be approved and denied. Let me take you there. Go to the menu right here. Go back to my approvals and the email should take you right here also. Okay. So this is the one that we've just created. We're going to go to the inbox. Here we go. We just received this one. You can see action is required. We have the information right here from the job application. I can go ahead and approve or deny and we can add a comment here in case we need to have that for reference in the future. Okay. So let me go ahead and approve this. You can see the approval flow has started. It's going to notify the next person. And since the if else condition is triggered, it's going to notify the manager. So it's going to notify the manager approval in this case for this flow. You also have options to view waiting for me, the archive and trash. In this case, since I'm the same person as the CEO, in this case, since I'm the same person as the manager, I will get notified for waiting for me in this case. But it's a really great way to automate the process for job applications in your business. So it's going to save a ton of time and it's going to save more time for the people who are in higher positions who don't need to view all the job applications unless they meet the requirements. But there you go. If you have any comments, leave them here in the comment section. And don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.